With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the Moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Alrighty, so what's going on everybody here? Welcome back. Welcome to a new game. Actually, this game just came out not too long ago. This is Deliver Us The Moon. It's a fairly story-driven game, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. Hopefully you guys are too. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. As always, now I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to adjust some settings real quick. All right, fantastic. Let's do this. Let's start ourselves a new game. Now, I have seen a little bit of gameplay. Friends and family of the missing lunar oh. colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. Oh. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. One year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast. Of largest the dust storm? As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Oh my and gosh. Have support for refugees to oh. Reports of resource shortages. Oh. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authority Tina, are you there? Oh, hey! Uh, yes? Alright, so we got a dust storm inbound is what it sounds like. Let's press this button. Let's do some things. Let's grab our suit. Grab suit. All right, suiting up. <gasps> Ta -ta. Oh, Astro Tool. Okay, WSA. Welcome. Thank you. Super excited. So this is a near future post-apocalyptic kind of thing going on. Radio contact confirmed. Okay. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. All right, this sounds good. Uh, enter the uh, Feskinov launch facility. Equip the astronaut suit. Uh, we did that. Astronaut suit, fantastic. Okay, so it's third person-esque. <gasps> oh, neato. Okay, so uh, zoom. Oh, cool, what is this? Oh, interact. Oh, hey, look at that. Turn left, turn right, read back, uh, launch one. Ground launch sequencer. Two, orbital access arms. Three, auxiliary power slot. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna have to remember this? Return back. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to memorize that. Oh no, this is not gonna go good if I have to memorize that. <laughs> it's not gonna go well. Uh, okay. Anyways, we are doing it. For humanity, for the future. We are in. 
Oh. I hope this isn't like a scary yeah, game. The Taurus 5. Taurus 5. It took five. Us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. Okay. So we have to... Oh, scan? Ooh! Hey! Huh, the first of many. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> uh, okay, do I need anything here? No, I don't. Okay, so it sounds like we kind of got to press. Like, we got to get rocking and rolling. Oh, there's a flashing light here, so I feel like we should go in here. Oh, now we're first person. <gasps> oh. Oh, I like that. Like, it automatically switches between first person and third person. MPT, end of the age of wires. Uh, read. Uh, okay, we're gonna just read the whole book. Oh, no, no, we're not. We're not gonna read the whole book, I promise. <gasps> hey, it's a Sputnik. I feel like we've seen that before. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so I guess we're going up here. I like the space suit. Oh, this is weird. I never play games in third person, so like this is super weird. Okay, let's toggle this. That doesn't look good. Uh, we'll take the ladder. Uh, we'll just we'll just take the ladder. It'll be f we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. The ladder's okay. Um. Oh. Oh, maybe we're fixing it. Okay. All right. It was that valve. That sticky, sticky valve. Silly, silly valve. Okay. Let's get down out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of this place. I gotta say, the game looks great. Looks nice. Uh, okay. And then interact. Please don't crash. I would hate for our mission to be over before it even started. Yes, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Okay. Top floor. Got it. Ding, ding. Top floor. Oh. Oh. Oh, see, that's where the power... ...since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible oh. to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. Okay. Uh, R for flashlight. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on! Oh, this is gonna be a scary game, isn't it? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Uh, collect. If power's out, as you... If the power's out, use code... Three, five, four, eight for the door. Oh, collect. Three, five, four, eight for the door. Oh, must be right here. Oh, perfect. Three, five, four, eight. Oh, well, I guess it's good that we looked. Oh, I feel, why do I feel like something's gonna come out after me? Oh, I hate that feeling. This I building once functioned as part of the WSA. But it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Should I read it? Okay, we're going back. Let's do this. I feel like we need to get going. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh. I don't think this is supposed to be a scary game. But it feels uh feels a little, a little creepy here. What is this? Oh, look at that. We can spin the globe. Okay. Oh, oh, you spun me right around. It was an achievement. I knew it. I knew it. A memorandum. Ends malfunction in the year 2048. Can I take this? No. Why can't I take anything? <laughs> I want to I want to take it with me. <gasps> What's that? It's a crushed can. Guys, it's a crushed can. They should have been recycling. That's what's wrong. That's why the planet's in shambles. Nobody's recycling. Uh, okay, what is this? Dear Sarah, we met years ago on the Pearson Space Station. I was relieved from service after the Hugens cryosleep malfunction. Remember how we talked about my broken ASC? I'm looking for a way to extract its holographic data, but I'm sure... But I'm hoping you could help me out. That's from Maria. Dear Sarah, that's from Maria. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I remember. Holographic data runs through a unique hardware component, a specialized 
I specialize more in software, so you should reach out to my colleague Rolf Robertson here at Pearson. He's an excellent mechanic. Okay. I don't know that we need to be following all these. I'm not... Oh. Oh, let's scan this guy. Uh, okay, we scanned a thing. Inspect. In memorandum, those lost during the, uh... Is it Hugens? Hygens? Hygens. We're gonna say Hygens. Hm. Hygens. I don't know. Malfunction of June 10th, 2048. Don't forget everyone we lost that day. Okay, so it sounds like there's some kind of cryosleep mistake. Uh, flux of time? What is this? Like a caffeine? Oh, antidepressants. That's fantastic. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, anything good up here? I need to stop messing around. We have a storm incoming, people. We've got to prime some rockets and do some things. Wouldn't that be terrible if you could fail? By, like, going around reading stuff for too long? <gasps> be terrible. Is there anything I can scan over here? I want to scan everything. I want to scan all the things. Um... Oh, wait, hold on. Grab. Ooh. Little, uh, little, little puzzle actioning going on here. Is that what I'm, is that what I'm foreseeing? Hmm. This is so scary. This is so scary. Please nothing jump out at me. I mean, it's the end of the world, right? It's not like an alien takeover kind of thing. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> All right, let's go up here. Let's prime this rocket. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy this, definitely let me know. Leave a like. Like on the video if you guys enjoy this video. Because I want to know, do we need to continue? Is this the thing? I think it's going to be. Okay, anything else good here? Look at all the... Is that is that beer? Mmm, delicious! Uh... Wow. Jeez Louise. Oh, what is that? Blackout. Okay. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating. Oh, it was part of the message. Claire's office. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sitting in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You are just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. Mm. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. So, Claire is the daughter. It could be one of the network pillars. Secondly, it could be one of the network pillars. Uh, so Claire's the daughter of the guy that invented the thing, and it sounds like she was down here. He was up there, Taurus Five. Ooh, Nito. He's up there doing the things. What's this? Some Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. Uh, custody. What rules that father was I? Isaac Johansson, as the next of kin, has been granted full custody over Kathy Christina Johansson after mother, mother Elizabeth Johansson's untimely death. Oh, wow. You know, there's actually quite a bit of story here. And I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I do apologize. Oh, geez. Do I have to memorize these things? I feel like I'm going to have to. <laughs> I feel like I have to memorize those. Um, there's a lot of story here. I'm going to try to do what I can to, uh, to try to keep up, but I'm very... <laughs> Of a story i'm not gonna lie i just kind of like want to explore and do the space stuff you know like that's that's what i like explore do what we can okay so what we got through here Good. you're in the control center i am in the control center ready to launch as fast as possible okay i'm gonna guess i go to this thing uh no that that was incorrect that was an incorrect thought why would i why would i go to the thing in the middle of the room uh what about this one Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, reboot. I can handle this. Rebooting. Ooh. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, 
We have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way, Way faster. faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Okay, so who are we? Keep going, Fortuna. Are we Fortuna? Is that us? Oh, nice. We had to take a screenshot of that. Okay, so something's not right. Something is wrong. Do I have to activate this one now? No. Uh, okay, so we did this one. Wait, do I have to do this one? Oh. Uh, launch preparations. Close both fuel valves. Uh, okay, so maybe through this door? This way. Okay. Fuel valves. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, I can handle that one. There's a ladder. I got this, guys. Guys, we got this. Okay, so let's go up here. Let's close this fuel valve. Why would we... Why don't I close the fuel valve? Oh, I guess if we're disconnecting it from the fuel lines, right? You don't want to leave that stuff connected if you're trying to blast off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't know that things can get much worse around here anyways, though. It uh, looks pretty rough here. Okay, so there's that one. And then... This one. Alright. Oh, of course, because... That would... <laughs> That's some high quality equipment. Uh, what's down here? What is this? Let the, let the real. Okay, you go down. Okay, you go up. Okay, so can I? Oh, okay, we can walk on it. All right, let's go down here. Let's see, let's see where the story leads. Oh, we're gonna need this guy. Mm-hmm. Is there a way for me to like move it like twist it can i can i do the twisting can i do the twisting i can't do the twisting actions let's grab it from this side grab uh oh turn left turn right oh would you would you look at that okay perfect looks good let's interact with this bad boy oh this is pretty neat. This is pretty cool. And we're not even in space yet, but we're already in a suit. It's amazing. Okay, let's go this way. Up here. I kind of like these puzzle games. I mean, I don't I when he, I don't think I consider this a puzzle game, but like it's definitely not like, oh. Okay, maybe it's not a puzzle game at all. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's fun though. Okay, so we did that. Now what? Uh, oh, it, it said... The hydrogen valves are closed. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. Okay. I'm trying to prime the rocket. I'm sorry. Oh. That looks like a nuclear key. Oh, wrong button! Oh, there it goes without us. Just kidding. Oh, that is a sight. Oh, geez, the dust storm's moving in. It's like already here. Oh, we gotta go. That's it. The rocket is primed. You have to launch now before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything we've worked for. Oh, Yoli, we only have a time. Run! <laughs> Run faster! You're not running fast enough. Come on! You're not running fast enough. <laughs> we gotta go, man. Or woman, I don't know. I don't know who you are exactly. Oh my gosh. I gotta say, the game looks good. It looks good. Okay, this way. Button. Okay. Fantastic. Let's get in here. Let's go. We got a ladder to climb, people. Ladding cut, ladder climbing simulator, 2019, right here, right now. Come on! Oh, jeez. Oh. Navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Okay. Initiate launch procedure. So, first step. Oh, thank goodness, there's one of those there. Uh. Are you serious? Ground launch sequencer started. 
Orbital axis arm retracting. Be a little more careful. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, ready the retractable axis. Okay, pull. Cut off when in resting position. Oh. Okay, so it has like a little bit of a delay. No, come on. We've got this. Perfect, just like we've practiced. Okay. Uh, three. That one. That one. Auxiliary power units booting up. Perfect. These guys next, right? Three, uh, four, this one. Gaseous oxygen vent are holding. No, now, come on. Try to go easy on the equipment arm safely in place. Okay. Looking good. One, two, three. Sound uh, five. Six. Uh... Got it. Hydrogen burn off system activated. Seven is this thing? Ready for ignition. Sending life for countdown. Uh, this guy right here. Rocket boosters ignition start. Engines ready in five. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Four, three, two, start one. We have lift off. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I feel like that's what it'd actually be like. Uh, wait, hold on. That was eight. Where, what about nine and ten? Nine. And ten is this one. Okay, so these two. Guys, guys, we just launched a rocket. Thanks to this schematic right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, is that the moon? <laughs> this is so spooky. You're on your way, Patina One. Okay. We're on our way. It's really dark. Super scary. Manage cut off. Stage separation. Second stage is ignition. Oh, that's the Earth right there, guys. It's right there. It's outside our window. Well, isn't that a sight? Just a hundred years ago. <laughs> they knew an Earth full of life. All we know today is dust. If you can bring the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We I mean, could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about the future. I mean, I guess, but you kind of. Kind of messed up the, to find the planet. MPT transmitter at the Pearson Space Station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear. We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. So I'm You'll never going to meet these people. To reach the station, you must. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, deliver us the moon. There you have it. Okay. Uh, cut off main engine. Ignite second stage thruster. Ready for ignition. Oh, we did a thing. Oh, we did a thing. Look at us go. Boop. <laughs> just, just poop that guy out. <laughs> no problem. All right. We are in space, people. We are finally in space. He has done it. My gosh. Deliver us the moon. So they're so worried about this uh, energy deal on the planet of Earth, and they need the moon power, but like, Earth is like, done for, so, you know, maybe you should have thought about that before you got, you guys gotta get yourselves into a pickle there. Just saying. Oh, that's a fantastic, fantastic beginning to the game.